I don't feel a move. I don't. I don't feel much at all, awesome. except this solid connection between me and, and, and the bat. Turns out this thing is pretty spectacular, um, especially with the glove. The combination of the two. This isn't coming out of my hands. I mean, baseball is a finicky sport. We're going to be playing with uh, some mist and some light rain, and the last thing I want to do is send this bat flying into the stands. It just kind of falls off as you're looking right there. Doesn't even stay on the grip, so no worries. You that's see good. that? That's There's... perfect. Good to go. So you poured a whole little bucket of water on that, or a whole little bottle of water. You're going to take a couple hacks here. So we should be we should be in a pretty dangerous zone right here if he's normal, using normal leather gloves and grips. To be completely honest, if that was using a normal leather gripping glove, we would be in a bad spot. It's tacky and it, it, it gets the job done, which awesome. is which is imperative. In my 25 years of playing baseball, I quite haven't felt a grip that's that unique. What, he also wet the grip. He's taking some pretty big hacks here. We, it's soaking wet. He did not slip once. We should be in a danger zone. So as you guys can see there, you know, the stuff is holding up really, really good compared to what's on the market. Our system is 270% more grip or friction when it's cold, moist, or wet out compared to two traditional leather gloves or grips. <laughs> it's insane. Look, it's not wet anywhere. I know you can't really maybe see that that well, but I am completely dry. Show me your hands again.